Why not go to the school library and look around? There's always so much to learn there. You found the password. The encyclopedias in the school library can help you to translate the maintenance door's password into Braille. I bet the school basement is full of clues. Be careful, Nancy. I have a bad feeling about that old boiler. I'm stumped, Nancy. I'm afraid I'm not very much help. This is George Fain. After the tone, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief message. Thanks. Nancy, how are you? Are you still in Florida? Did you ever solve that case you were working on? Wow. From the palm trees of Florida to the streets of New York City, Nancy Drew is on the case. What is it this time? Missing jewels? International spy ring? Maybe a ghost or two? I'm starting to train for the annual River Heights Marathon next month. But tell me more about your new case. What have you found out so far? Sounds like you've got another case on your hands. Have you asked everybody about these accidents? Do you know anything about the house's history? That might help you find the treasure. That makes sense. If the house was built before 1906, most of its records were probably destroyed in the earthquake. Do you think she's giving up and wants to cash in on the insurance money? It's a possibility you should look into, Nancy. Hi. You've reached the Fane residence, but no one's home to take your call. Please run five laps around the castle and try again later. Great timing, Nancy. Bess and I were just saying how we wish we were out on the ski slopes with you. Hang on, I'll get her to pick up the other phone. Hey, Bess, our favorite detective's on the phone. Bess, that was Nancy's last case. She's in Wisconsin now, not San Francisco. That's funny, Nancy. I didn't know the phrase off-limits was even in your vocabulary. Oh, right. Like Nancy doesn't know she's the prime minister of snooping. She's lucky we don't charge her for these calls. The detective support hotline could get awfully expensive. I can only imagine what would happen if we applied the pencil to Bess. Just think of all the secret codes that would be revealed. Like Jacques, Rick, Brady. No way. Maya expresses her politics by writing about them. You know, the pen is mightier than the sword. She and Nicholas Falcone don't even speak the same language. A cute guy with an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring. Right at his fingertips. We're talking major crush. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. There you have it, Nance. Bess has achieved nirvana, and I'm free to move about the room without fearing for my life. So what's new with you? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? No, 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 no mysteries, Nancy. You're supposed to be relaxing. Uh-oh. I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Uh-oh, Bess, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh no, she wrecked her roux. Good, because as I recall, Katie doesn't do confrontation very well. Well, it's not like she's my best friend or anything, but what would she be hiding? Bess, do you smell something burning? Our brains have grown weak and flaccid from lack of stimulation. It's the only thing in the bookstore here that looked halfway interesting. So if you need to know anything that's even remotely related to 19th century fashion, let us know, okay? That's one of the companies in my book. Is there anything else on it? There's a bunch of phone numbers in this book. Maybe we can track down the pattern for you. Only because you're driving me crazy. I'm supposed to be helping her paint her room, but every other brushstroke, she's like, Where do you think she is now? How do you think the Hardy Boys are doing? Why do you think she hasn't called? What do you think Laurie Gerard is wearing? Yeah, I just got goosebumps, which is hard when you're practically covered in paint. Trust me, nobody on that train could possibly be any more dangerous than Bess with a loaded paintbrush in her hand. The way they were when I told you that I like that boy who works at the snack shop? It was last week, Bess. Don't worry, Nance. If she starts to say anything to Frank, I'll just stomp on her foot. Frank is cute and he cooks? That does it. Which one of you wants to be my maid of honor? Sorry, we were hopelessly distracted by a truly amazing set of washboard abs. The guys are doing belly smackers. An amazing abs just did one that was like somebody slammed the water with a steel two-by-four. I mean, whack! And he didn't even flinch. I'm in love. I like sheep. They're cute and woolly and help you fall asleep. You get to shear sheep? I am so jealous. Hey! Hey! Hold on! Stop! No, don't go! Stop!
I was trying to stop him. We need help. Bess has been kidnapped. And when I woke up this morning, Bess's bed hadn't been slept in and there was no sign of her. She never came back from going to watch the sunset. Here's the note the Gibsons left. I knew I should have gone with her, but I was just so tired. This is all my fault. Too strong? Me? No way! In fact, that City League team I play on, the River Heights Rovers, know what they call me? Cupcake. I have to play games with monkeys? I lost to a monkey. I hate that. Since we need to split up, let's use the phone program I made for the Clues Challenge to keep our info together. You mean the amazing program that I coded and uploaded onto our phones? Is that the one you're talking about? Hi, Dee Dee. Sorry, hi, Deirdre. I think you look like a Dee Dee. I sort of feel bad for Deirdre. Only sorta. I don't want to get a reputation here as a softie. Oh my gosh! Who would do something like that? Someone could really get hurt. Some of the fine citizens of River Heights have been expressing their outrage ever since you were arrested. Don't worry about it. They're just a big bunch of cowards. We'll take care of this for you. I was pretty scrambled after the accident, and apparently very excited about signing my cast. Something odd is going on here. We might need to bend the rules. Well, you know I'm a huge Pacific Run fan, and I can tell you that this season is way off. I mean, first the crew is non-existent, and normally you travel the whole Pacific, hence the name. Why are we focused on this one area? Nancy! I'm scandalized. It could get us kicked off the show. I know. I started. Check my tablet for updates. I have a hard time staying. <laughs> That's really good. Sorry, I'm just a little sleepy.